Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day two of this edition of Little Law Coliseum Peace Power History Show. We're ready to start our Saturday parade. We have the World War II military reenactors. I believe they have an official 48-star flag that would have been used in both World Wars and Korea. And to uh, start us off once again, stand if you can, remove your hats as we have this live performance of our national anthem by Layla. Got a good view of his 1932. 
at that time they may have been slightly infringing on the far ball pass, but nobody was trying to get anybody out of business. The lawyers just had cigars and brandy and figured it out. Harlan, the name of Victimire, that's the uh, grass driving a tractor, 1938. On the rear wheels. Later, John, here at least, this is Joe Bauer. During the life of the bee, they did uh, about four different tweaks to it. He's got the sign on the tractor, just perfect. I like signs on tractors. I don't know who came up with this thing. He's got that thing anyway. Let's go for a hate date. This bee is from 1939. He's got the serial number. Henry Dreyfus was the uh, industrial designer who put the style on the upstyle tractors and he worked with gear. He put the style on the new generation tractors as well. He's a 4020 diesel. Brian planned up 4020s of 1971. On a sesquicentennial farm. That's what the centennial is 150 years. So a farm in the family for a long time. Fresh and next was based on the Iowa so the John Deere's, the Carmel's, the Allen Chalmers, Jim Crow, in 1936, has been in the family for 41 years. Here he has a John Deere V from 1950 that's still in use. He's 
from taking care of, they'll get the little jobs done to the bottom of the country. Over in Stillwater, they've got local flavor to it. 
John getting another 340 from 1958. This is a number 16 Forest Harvester today, driven by Charlie Weber. Forest harvesters like manure spreaders that have a hard rise if any of their corn juice gets on and drops the metal. Or they don't survive very well. But this is an interpretation of one job the tractor may have done. And the Velocic club for 1955 in memory of Fred and Jack Reaver. 1955 was the first year for the South World War.
started on the act of looking over wealth of the
wheel horse is one of the reasons that I always got into the sub to that business. It's just the story. And some of these cars as well. And originally, I think, I want to think of Ben Powell's reputation, so I'll go by and say, still running. Gary Beater, who's a sub in 1948. He started building a sub in 1947. Yeah. 